don't start nothing. It's power in it. And that's why the enemy will have you sit there. He is the one. <laughs> if somebody asks me to tell somebody one more thing, I'll scream. I hear the saints. If I have to turn to my neighbor one more time <laughs> before this service ends, I am so tired of this neighbor. <laughs> I know you say it because I said it. <laughs> I know it's true. We're human, but we're doing better all the time. That's right. <laughs> but that's why everybody to get up can't do the same routine. Amen. Everybody can't do it. Everybody get up. Everybody can't get up and come behind and ask everybody to do the same thing. Because we will wear the people out. God bless you. I'm going to pray for these that are here, Bishop and I. Every one of you that are in ministry tonight. Every one of you that are working in God's service, even these precious young people, I want you to seek God for visitation. Say, Lord, visit me. Lord, reveal yourself to me. Yeah, that's, I don't want you just in the church. God gave me a word years ago and said, teach my people to know the Lord of the house. So many people, you would never go into somebody's house and not speak to the, the father, the, the husband man of that house. You never just walk in somebody's house and see them sitting over there and pay them no mind. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. And so it is with us. Sometimes we'll walk in here and talk to everybody. We didn't spoke to one another and we didn't chatted with one across the church and we didn't talk to the one in front of us. And we haven't said, Lord, hello. We haven't said, thank you, Jesus. I'm talking serious business. This is God's house. How dare you come in here and not speak to him and not honor him, and not adore him, and not love him. Thank you, Lord. Step.